Okay, we're going to start by taking a look at a three-play set and how the drive here in the first quarter gets killed really quickly. It's going to be a holding call. Uh, it's going to be a pocket breaking down, and it's going to be this play that starts with a high-low. And we'll just kind of play it here. So I can show you second and four. You're in a good second down position. Everybody's going to be chopping to get people down on the ground. The idea behind that is you're going to get it to Jonah Trenman, and you don't want any of the defensive line to be able to pursue from the backside. So everybody chops down. The problem is you've got this guard and this tackle on a high low. The defensive end comes inside. The guard's not expecting to make contact, and you'll see that Tooney actually tries to kind of back out of this, but because that player makes contact with Tooney and is getting chopped by Hoyt, that that is a classic high-low 15-yard penalty. To, even though Tooney puts his hands up, that's a 15-yard penalty. Um, the other thing that upsets me is trineman has got to just catch this ball. I mean, come on. That's unacceptable. 100% of the time, that's unacceptable. Got to catch that ball. Can't, can't high-low. Got to catch that ball. So you've got a play that would have broke down anyways because a receiver can't catch a ball. You've got a high-low situation that's going to take you back 15 yards and put you into second and 19. And we can watch this again really quickly. Um, it, we'll get a backside view on this so that you can kind of see the high-low a little bit better and you got to remember that when that defensive end when he fires inside it's really tough because Hoyt's going to be chopping out his legs and Tooney's trying to back out of there and Tooney's got to make sure that he doesn't make contact right there but that is a high low no question about it okay, I'm going to show you how this pocket breaks down and how these receivers don't get open um, it's going to break down on show side, so left offensive tackle. So if you watch that left offensive tackle, he's going to get beat on just a simple speed rush right there. Um, some nice hand work. But Mangum, I think Mangum panics a little bit and gets himself out of position before he needs to. Because if, if you look in the middle of this, you know, the middle is held up really well. And all you got to do is take that shuffle step right there. And instead of pulling this down and getting panicky and running, he should have pulled it down and then looked back up. You know, you, you'll see the best quarterbacks are able to kind of fit back into that pocket and find their receiver downfield. Mangum kind of gets scrambled and just tries to get himself back to the line of scrimmage. Um, I don't have the wide view on this. But you can see up top, that's Jonah Trenman up top. You, you can see up here. You can see that he doesn't, he doesn't do much to get himself open. And you can see this coverage on the tight end slows that down. So not that Mangum had a lot to throw to, but he could have stepped back into the pocket and let some of those routes form. So you go to third and 19. And, you know, you're just looking now to get yourself in. Uh, you're looking to get yourself in a better punting position or, or maybe break something free for a first down. And you're going to see here that Tijon gets called on a ridiculous holding call. So if you're watching the center, he actually just dominates this defensive tackle. That's domination. He throws him to the side. Canada takes the ball and runs right off the backside of Tijon. And if the, if the roles were reversed here, and I was looking at it, Portland State Center doing that to one of BYU's defensive tackles, I'd say this defensive tackle can't get chucked like this. Tijon's hands are on the inside. You can see up underneath and on the inside, throws him down and gets called for the holding. I think that's a garbage holding call. Um, either way, you're not getting the first down. You're going to be kicking this thing. Uh, they actually declined the penalty, and BYU punts it. But that's how one of your drives breaks down. So it's simple. Don't high-low. 
make sure Tooney understands that he's going to back out or he can't make contact up top because Hoyt does have the cut block. You want to get the cut block on those guys on that play. Um, don't let that pocket break down. If it does, I want Tanner just to settle in that pocket, get some receivers open, and then you get a bad holding call right there on Coroma. That's how a drive breaks down. Some really simple stuff to correct. 